Hey, what's up? Yin here, and today I'd like to uh, talk about this KB Ear Ink Mark II. Uh, the retail price for this is uh, 69 US dollars, and if you guys are interested, do check out the uh, unaffiliated link in the description below. Uh, basically, this is the second version of the original uh, KB Ear Ink, which I have right here. Uh, and in this video, I'm going to do a very quick comparison just for the sound uh, between these two, because everything else is going to be the same. So so if you guys want to watch in detail uh, about the accessories and the fit and comfort and design and all that, uh, I do suggest to watch my video of this uh, review up here somewhere, okay? Uh, and then come back to this video so that you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, but in this video, I'm just, just going to jump straight into the sound. Maybe I'll just touch uh, very quickly on the accessories and the design and build quality. Okay, so let's uh, not waste any time. Let's go straight into it. Uh, first, let's talk about the uh, specifications. This is a 10 millimeter uh, DLC diaphragm dynamic driver. It's the same as the original. The uh, impedance is 16 ohms. Uh, sensitivity is 102. And the frequency range is 20 to 20,000 hertz, which is the same as our original. Uh, in terms of accessories, it comes in the same box like this. Uh, it's got the uh, same case as well. I love this case. A uh, whole bunch of ear tips, which is the same. Uh, the cleaning brush and the cable and the cleaning cloth it's all the same right so let me just put all these one side all right so now let's talk about the uh, design and the build quality of this two uh, basically the only difference that you will see is the faceplate uh, that is Kevlar right uh, Kevlar design as you can see it's very very nice and it's very reflective uh, if you look at it at different angles and let me just try to rotate for you guys so yeah different angles you get different look to it and it's very nice compared to the original which is just a honeycomb design with no reflection uh, so yeah this faceplate looks much better but other than that everything else is the same you will get the same uh, inner shell right same uh, positioning of that uh, the you know the vent and everything else on the nozzle is the same as well it's the same brass nozzle as you can see same angle as well so everything else is the same the build quality is also the same All right so that's uh the design and build quality in terms of fit and comfort uh it's the same as well obviously so it fits my ear but for some i think uh, because it's going to be an odd fit uh this one goes into my ear in an odd angle uh so it, you need a very uh flexible uh ear hook or no ear hook at all uh, to match up with this um, IEM so that it goes into your ears uh, nicely and snugly okay so in terms of uh, fit and comfort fits my ear uh, but not for some okay and uh, the seal is pretty good as long as the fit goes right in okay all right so that's the design and build quality and fit so now let's talk about the sound uh, in terms of the sound uh, i would say uh, both of them uh, in terms of technicalities both of them are the same uh, but maybe uh, the um, original would sound a little bit more detailed uh, as compared to the new version which i'll explain why okay first let's talk about the um, sound stage sound stage i would say the original is a little bit intimate uh, this one is a little bit better uh, it's a bit wider but by not by a lot okay so um, in terms of sound stage about the same as well uh, imaging and the sound separation is pretty good for both uh, as i mentioned uh, and the uh, detail retrieval i would say the original has got a bit more details uh, because on the um, new one uh, it's got a quite a bit more base so the details are just a bit veiled uh, that's why you won't be able to pick up some of the nuances uh, but it's got more base on this one uh, and then the uh, resolution i would say well both are about the same i think uh, the new one has got a bit more refinement uh, in terms of resolution so yeah this one has got a bit better in terms of sound reproduction okay now let's talk about tone and timbre both of them are the same fun sounding casual sounding uh, you know warm uh, type of tone and timbre so if you uh, like casual listening then this is actually uh, pretty good you know for uh, your genre of musics okay so that's for tone and timbre now let's talk about the sound let me just show you my graph Okay, so in terms of the graph of this uh, KB Ear Ink version 2, 
uh, it's got a, a lot of bass. So this is uh, a V-shaped uh, tuned IEM. A lot of bass. Uh, the, in fact, the bass shelf is very prominent. At the same time, it's got a bit of a bite here in terms of the treble. Uh, so a lot of uh, energy coming out from the treble, a lot of bass as well. So you got a very energetic uh, and bassy type of uh, sound listening experience. Okay, so that's that's what I hear. Okay, and comparing to the original, I would say it's uh, the same. Okay, if you look at the original, okay, it's just that the original is not as bassy but you know it's not by a lot it's maybe two to three db difference uh, depends on your your ears but uh, what i hear is that there's more bass uh, in terms of the bass shelf all right not just the sub bass uh, and also for the treble uh, it's it's okay it's actually the same uh, to me treble sounds the same so it's a bit of a, a energetic bassy much more bassy uh, i am okay so for sub bass i would say uh, this one has got a lot of sub bass uh, a lot of rumble as compared to the original and that actually bleeds into the mids uh, and that's why you know sometimes uh, the details the original would have a bit more detail uh, and also a bit more I would say glare yeah it's a, a, a bit more uh, bright uh, as compared to the new one right so the new one is it does not sound as uh, energetic as as the original but it's still quite energetic it's quite bright okay uh, and harsh okay so uh, I would say both of them are pretty harsh when it comes to the uh, treble but uh, because this one has got more bass right the new one has got more bass it's not as harsh as the original okay uh, mid bass is very thumpy as you can see it's much more thumpy and much more impact than the uh, original so when I listen to the same tracks on these two uh, I, I get more bass response and more emotional connection uh, to my tracks when I'm listening to the um, new one okay uh, yeah more bassy and it's more fun okay i'm getting more fun out of this one uh as compared to the original okay and as for the uh lower mids uh it's about the same it's just that you know the balance of it uh because there's a lot of uh, bass on the new one i i would feel that the instruments uh are more recessed uh, my violins and trumpets and uh, flutes they sound more recess not as detailed and uh, clear and forward as the original okay so but it's more fun right so it's uh, it's either or if you want more fun uh, you would have to sac sacrifice your the details of your instruments that you're listening to okay so that's for the um, mids and uh, instruments uh, as for vocals i find that vocals uh, male vocals sounds much better on the mk2 the mark 2 uh, and they have more authority as compared to the original uh, original they sound fun but not as fun and engaging as the uh, new version okay and female vocals they sound uh, with a bit more body with that same brightness and same energy but with a bit more body uh, to the presence of the female vocals so uh, I would say female vocals will sound better on uh, this new version as compared to the original version okay now let's talk about treble treble they both sound almost the same it's just that you know the new version has got more bass so it's not as uh, glaring it's not as harsh as the original version uh, and they sound uh, very forward okay so every energetic and the peanut gain uh, I would say is very bitey okay so some people may find it uh, a bit too much okay a bit too fatiguing okay uh, but um, yeah it makes the female vocals and some of the instruments like the electric guitars uh, they stand out right they, they, they really have that energy there right so depends on individual okay uh, in terms of presence they are about the same I don't hear much difference in fact 
the whole treble difference uh, i don't hear any of those uh, on these two okay uh, they are pretty much the same in terms of the treble uh, and uh, mid treble is yeah again bright right it's bright and also it's, it's, it's a bit on the sibilant side okay i would say so it's a bit sibilant a bit uh, shouty as well but it depends on the track as i mentioned and also the individual uh, as i said i i can tolerate this type of uh, treble but for some people uh, they are sensitive to treble you may not be able to tolerate or even if you can tolerate it uh, it, it may be quite fatiguing if you listen to certain tracks like j-pop or k-pop you know where you know it gets quite high on the frequency on on some of the tracks okay i like the air it's very airy uh, this is a very airy treble uh, and it rolls off uh, pretty nicely uh, gives me a very good holographic uh, type of sound but yeah i mean it's just a uh, placebo kind of thing but basically uh, treble is nice it sounds nice when it trill trills off okay uh, but it's just that the um, upper mids here and the mid treble is a little bit on the sibilant side okay right so that's for the entire frequency itself uh, in terms of comparing this to um, in and my conclusion i would say the improved version is much better uh, and uh, overall resolution of it it sounds cleaner the the bass actually even even though there's more bass in fact i've uh, tried uh, listening to this to on many many songs and also i get my family members to listen to these two and a lot of them uh, they mentioned that the uh, resolution on this is much better and the bass on this is much cleaner uh, as compared to the original uh, the original sounds a bit grainy if you ask me uh, and also some of my family members have also noticed that the original is a bit grainy and uh, yeah, so in terms of overall um, sound reproduction, the uh, new one has got a, yeah, a bit more resolution and better sounding overall um, production uh, as compared to the original. And then in terms of bass, uh, this one has got a more responsive bass and uh, the treble is the same, unfortunately. But the thing is, uh, you know, it, it's actually balanced out because now it has got more bass right and the uh, overall listening experience i would say this is more suitable for fun casual listening it's, it's the same it's the same as the original okay it's more fun more casual listening experience and uh, the genre that you i would listen to is k-pop and uh, heavy metal jazz uh, yeah even jazz okay uh, and also uh, yeah most of the pop songs like me basically uh, but for classical and if you you want some analytical uh, clinical listening experience this may not uh, do the job uh, this is more you know of a casual fun and you're out and about type of listening experience lah. okay so yeah in conclusion 69 us dollars i would say is the same as the original uh, i would say is much better in terms of the reproduction of sound so you uh, will be safer right if you you're spending the same amount of money uh, but you're getting a more improved uh, version of the keep ear ink so yeah if you were to you're interested to buy this uh, rest assured that you're getting a better version okay all right so that concludes my overall uh, review very quick one of this kb ear ink uh, version 2 or mark 2 i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and also learned something from this video and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that's it for now i hope you guys have a great day ahead and i'll see you again in my next video cheers